An Indianapolis mother wants to know if her family is in a serious health risk situation as mold continues to grow in the family's apartment. Yeah, she's already made phone calls, and tonight she's waiting to see what her landlord plans to do about the mold. She showed our Steve Jefferson today what's growing in their house and possibly making them sick. Steve? The mother in this case is really concerned about her family's health. She's waiting to hear back from the folks here at the health department. She's concerned about just how much danger they're really in. It started right up here in the corner. I just seen little spots. Marcia Hill Brown showed Eyewitness News her ceiling where she says black mold started growing out of the walls in their North Meridian Street apartment. She says after cleaning the initial mold with bleach, it just got worse. So she reported it to the landlord. I let him know, like, hey, I called emergency maintenance. I, I think I have some black mold in my apartment. And she's like, okay, well, we'll send somebody right up there. But now, look how she says the mold has spread in just weeks. I take pictures every week. There's more mold. This point portion of the wall behind her desk is full of fungus, enough to raise questions, she says, about their recent illnesses. My daughter has reactive lungs. Um, I've had a sinus infection almost every other month. And the mold could be the reason. According to the CDC, allergy symptoms for mold and mildew include rashes, watery eyes, a runny nose, and coughing. But the CDC says there are no government standards established for household mold levels, making it almost impossible possible to enforce health regulations. I don't want any dealings with any negative health issues, but I did call the health department. I did. We did reach out to the folks here at the health department, but the health department is closed for the holiday. Back to you in the studio.